first picked the gravel up, um, yeah, like I instantly knew that I wanted to surf it in kind of like good or grunty ways. Just for the fact that I think he's from South Oz Gravel, so the shape kind of reminds me of like a it's a short ball, but it's just something with a bit more glass and something that's gonna like endure a bit of a beating. So yeah, it was six two, which is like an inch up from my normal shorty, and it just had a bit more weight, but. The whole outline, the rails and everything were perfect. Um, it had huge concave in it, so I kind of wanted to see how that went. Yeah, I got to test the gravel out at, um, at a bunch of different waves. And the first surf I had on it was at Deserts. And yeah, it was sick. It had had a lot of paddle power due to the thickness. And, and then once I got on the waves, it was flying down the line well. And it was like motoring through sections really easy, picking up a lot of speed, which which is good for there because sometimes you're on one and it's just flying down the line and that, that board had no problem sort of trucking through the sections and got to surf it in like sort of three to four foot high performance rights and yeah it was sick it went really good off the top it was kind of loose and and then if you wanted to come out of the face it kind of had no problem with the with the carve going back to the foam and and that was even in bumpy surf as well so yeah got to test it in the smooth waters and it, and it held in nice and then it went through the bumps well as well and yeah, it's sick board. Yeah, in the Gravel I used the Josh Kerr 5.0 3D fins. Um, yeah, and they went sick. They had a lot of drives through the carve and off the bottom, but they were also really loose off the top. Yeah, I think the Gravel, the ideal conditions for the Gravel would be sort of overhead head high waves, like four to six with a bit of grunt. But in saying that, like I surfed in all conditions and it was a real versatile board. 